Gospel of March the 30th, 2016, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that, that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel, and besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not, they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that, while he was with them at table, he took bread, set the blessing, broke it and gave it to them. With that their eyes were opened and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to one to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us, while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found ga ga gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way, and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is such a beautiful scene of the Gospel today. We can imagine these two disciples going downcast, very sad. The image of the Lord crucified and death must have carved and deep inside their hearts. Basically, that image totally destroyed their confidence. And it showed that they did not either understand the Lord nor understood Scripture. How many times had the Lord told them that it was necessary for him to suffer, then to die, to be resurrected on the third day. But unless we see those things, we cannot believe. It's very hard for us to understand. It's very hard for us to believe. We have to believe through faith, which is a gift, and through our will too. We see how these two could not understand as I said, and in them we are also reflected. How many times we believe that we are walking alone, deserted, despised perhaps, and yet we cannot recognize how the Lord himself is walking along us, ready to help us when we open our hearts to him. It's not easy to recognize him, not easy at all if he does not open our mind, our, our hearts. He casually enters into a conversation with them and they answered him what happened to Jesus the Nazarene, a prophet who was a prophet mighty 
who was a mighty prophet, who was. They thought that he was there no more. And after they had said that, we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. They could not understand what had happened. Redemption had done not only for Israel, it has been accomplished. The Telestai said the Lord on the cross. It is accomplished, it is consumed. It has been taken to completion. Salvation of the entire universe by the love and obedience of our Lord. It has been done, but yet it has to happen on you and on me. They say some women reported that they saw a vision of angels saying that he is alive. But they did not believe him. They did not believe them. And so they went back downcast. They are chastised. How foolish you are. How slow of heart to believe. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things to enter into his glory? You see, we don't like to to preach even about suffering. We don't like to. We like to embrace each other and say, okay, let it go, she's, she's in a better place, she is, your dead one is with, with, with the Lord in heaven, don't cry. But we have to cry. We do have to cry. We do have to mourn. We have to have the strength as, a human, as human beings to share the sorrow of others the pain of others. We have to be humble and humbled. Pain is a great medicine. It truly really is. But many preachers do not want to pray or to preach about pain. And thus we are responsible for not teaching correctly the way of the Lord, which is certainly the way of resurrection, but before it is the Via Crucis, the way of the cross, that we all have to suffer and go through. If we were to learn that that, in our obedience, is the path to our salvation, we would be quite happy to go along that. But our understanding has to be opened up. Just as the Lord was explaining and opening the scripture to them, we also need to be opened in the same way. Finally, they say these words, stay with us, many in Greek. That is the very same word that Saint John, the first day that he saw the Lord, asked the Lord, Pumenes, Kyrie, Pumenes, Lord, where do you stay? Where are you staying? Now, these two invite him, stay with us, remain with us, and that if nothing else, I would like you to say today, right now, to the Lord, Lord, stay with me. Do not leave me by myself. And then at that, as he is invited and accepts, he, get, he took a, a bread, said the blessing, broke it and gave it to them. And then that is exactly when they recognize him. They recognize him in the breaking of the bread, that is the Eucharist, the Divine Liturgy, in His body and His blood, that is where also we are going to meet Him. Today, or the next day that you are able to go to the Divine Liturgy, to the Eucharist, think about that encounter. Pray for the Lord to remain with you that you may also become a witness as such as these two, as they recognized the Lord, went back to become true witnesses, even to the eleven. And there they found the other saying too, that he had resurrected. Until we meet in heaven, God bless you all brothers.